Hey friends, if you sell products online and you're using Google Ads and you want to get your products in front of more people, campaign types like Performance Max or Standard Shopping are essential. And in today's video, I wanna share with you one of my favorite tricks that you can use if you have a Standard Shopping campaign set up that is gonna help you level up the results that you're seeing. If we haven't met yet, my name's Scott Redgate. I'm an online marketing coach, and the purpose of this channel is to help you make more and spend less in your online marketing efforts and give you the confidence that you need that you can manage your own online marketing campaigns without hiring an expensive agency. Hey, before we dive in, make sure to grab my free PPC cost-cutting cheat sheet. Dozens of businesses like you have used this document to save thousands of dollars inside of their Google Ads account, and you can get it for free at scottredgate.com slash cheat sheet, and I'll leave a link in the description below. I am so excited for today's content. So I've been creating YouTube videos uh, on online marketing for the past couple of years now, and I realized that as I was scanning through some of my recent videos that I have never created a video on one of my favorite topics in Google Ads, and that's standard shopping tiers. Well, that's gonna change because today we're gonna be talking about high level what standard shopping campaigns are. Uh, if you launch a standard shopping campaign where your product listing ads will be shown, and then I'm gonna give you the step-by-step -step process for how you can create a standard shopping tier, which in almost every instance will help you level up the results that you're getting from your standard shopping campaign. If you're creating a campaign type of standard shopping campaigns in Google Ads, at the time of this recording, you still have the ability to do so. So I've predicted and other Google Ads experts have predicted that at some point in time, Google will cut standard shopping campaigns from the campaign type mix, but at the time of this recording, you can still create it. Now, why would Google ever consider cutting standard shopping? Well, the reason for it is there are a lot of manual levers that you can pull in standard shopping. And Google is moving in the direction of automation and simplification. And so that's why they're heavily marketing their performance max campaign type is to try to simplify things for advertisers. And then at the end of the day, performance max allows Google to show your ads across their entire network of websites. So you've got Google search, YouTube, Gmail, Maps Discovery, and some other placements. And and so it's more advantageous for Google to be able to show your ads through Performance Max because there's a lot more placements for them to show your product listing ads on than just standard shopping campaign. Because primarily with standard shopping campaigns, your product listing ads will only be shown on Google search. And so here's a screenshot of what that looks like. So I did a search for the term cell phones, and then you'll scroll down just a little bit here and you'll see this box here that says sponsored. And then you'll see one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight product listing ads from several different companies that feature cell phones. And so if you set up a standard shopping campaign, let's say you sell cell phones and you have a healthy budget and healthy bids, your ads would be eligible to show for relevant search terms related to the products that you sell. So a lot of e-commerce platforms out there like Shopify make this very easy to get this information to Google. Because in order to show product listing ads, Google has required attributes that you have to be able to provide them to be eligible for this campaign type. And this, this is the same with Performance Max as well. And so some of the attributes that they require include ID, title, product description, the link of your product page, image link, price, that's not seen on this screen. And then depending on the types of products that you sell, uh, they will have other required attributes. And so, as I said before, if you have an e-commerce platform like Shopify, they make it really easy to generate this information to send to Google. But if you don't have an up-to-date e-commerce platform, all hope is not lost because in all honesty, you could create a CSV or an Excel spreadsheet with this information in Google's format. And I'll provide a link uh, to some documentation from Google on the type of format that they want from this. Put in an Excel spreadsheet and then you would go into what we call Google Merchant Center. You would create a Google Merchant Center account and then upload this information and then that would allow you inside of Google Ads to be able to create campaign types like standard shopping and performance max. 
So now that we understand high level what standard shopping campaigns are and where your ads would appear if you successfully launch a standard shopping campaign, I wanna to talk to you about a simple strategy that you can use that for me in almost every instance that I've ever tried it have gotten me significantly better results than if I just had a single standard shopping campaign set up in the account. And so that's where we're gonna discuss standard shopping tiers. But in order to discuss the, the strategy for standard shopping tiers, Years, we need to define something and that's campaign priority. Campaign priority is useful when you're advertising the same product for the same country in multiple shopping campaigns. And so I'll read this right here. When you have the same product in multiple shopping campaigns, you can determine which campaign should participate in the auction for that product with campaign priority. Your campaigns already have priority low. That's what they're automatically set to. But you can change this priority to medium or high. These priorities determine the bid for any product that the campaigns share. Okay, so that was a mouthful. Let's start to describe what this actually means. So when you're creating a standard shopping campaign, you have the ability to set that campaign to either a low priority, which I said before is the default, medium, or high. And if you have essentially identical campaigns with identical products in them, if you were to have a campaign that had a priority of high, Google would recognize the bid for that product in the campaign that was marked as high as compared to if you had that campaign marked as low. And if that still doesn't make sense, let's hop on over to the whiteboard where we will sketch some things out. So let's say you've created a standard shopping campaign, you've properly set up your shopping feed and you've uploaded it to Google Merchant Center and you are now eligible to have your product show in a standard shopping campaign or even a performance max campaign, all right? Let's say for this example, your business sells headphones, all right? After you launch a standard shopping campaign, pretty soon after, you're gonna to start to see the search terms that your product ads showed for, okay? And so if you sell headphones, it wouldn't be uncommon for your list to include terms like this. Headphones for my son's first grade class, cheap earbuds, buy Apple AirPods, Beats headphones, all right? So your, your products are gonna to start to appear for terms like that. Now, pretty quickly, you're gonna say, hey, some of these terms are a lot higher quality than some of these other terms. But the problem is if you only set up a single standard shopping campaigns, these search terms could all be treated equally. So what does that mean? You might be assigning the same bid for all of these search terms if you have manual bidding set up and you don't have any type of automation enabled, right? And so pretty soon after, you're gonna to wanna to draw a line in the sand and say, hey, I wanna bid more for the terms that are likely to lead for to a sale for, for my high priced products versus some of these more generic terms. But if you have a single standard shopping campaign set up, that's not gonna be possible. And so I wanna run through this quick process here where you can create a standard shopping tier, all right? So let's scroll down and let's do this, okay? So let's say, for example, you've duplicated um, your products to appear in two campaigns. You've got campaign one and you've got campaign two. These campaigns contain the same exact products, all right? Now, using that setting that we had just discussed, which was campaign priority, we marked campaign one as a high priority and we marked campaign two as a low priority. Now, I need to make sure that this is clear. This high priority setting does not mean that this is going to contain your high priority search terms, okay? It's actually the opposite. This is just the setting. If I've got the same product in two separate campaigns, Google, I want you to assign the bid to this campaign for that product. That's all it means. All right, so let's go back up to this list right here. You've got headphones for my son's first grade class, cheap earbuds, buy Apple AirPods, and Beats headphones. As I look at this list, I think the terms on the right are a lot higher quality. And the reason I say that is because the people that are searching them are actually including the brand name for the headphones that they're looking for. So buy Apple AirPods, they mention Apple. Beats headphones, they're searching for Beats. In addition to those are higher, you know, potentially higher priced items uh, for you than something like headphones for my son's first grade class. I can tell you from, from my experience recently, 
we bought the cheapest headphones possible when we were searching for something like this and also cheap earbuds. So we need to try to find a way to um, put these terms here on the right by Apple AirPods and Beats headphones in the campaign that has the higher bid. So to do that with standard shopping campaigns, all you have to utilize is negative keywords. So with standard shopping campaigns, as I said before, we're not inputting keywords for our products to appear for. Google uses the information in your product feed and all the information that they know about that product, but you still can use negative keywords, all right? So let's say in campaign one, for example, let's say, and I'll change this to the color red here, let's say you input a negative keyword for Apple, all right? What would this do in this situation? What would happen here is any search term that contains Apple would not be eligible to show in campaign one. So it would essentially be kicked to campaign two um, where we have a higher bid, all right? And let's also say here, I'll just copy and paste this right here. Let's say, for example, you input a net, another negative keyword for beats. What would this mean? Any search term that contains beats in it would not be eligible to show in campaign one. It would be kicked to campaign two, all right? And now the cool thing about standard shopping tiers is campaign two has the higher bid. And so we would be bidding higher on search terms that contain Apple and contain beats. And in this example, the terms cheap earbuds and the term headphones for my son's first grade class would be uh, appearing in campaign one and we assigned a super low bid of 25 cents for campaign one and so what we were able to do here by utilizing the campaign priority settings and by utilizing negative keywords we were able to direct search terms to a different campaign that has the higher bid, all right? Now, I would recommend watching this video one more time so that you can understand that, because I understand it's kinda, it's kinda tricky here with the setting that you have in the campaign where it's a high priority setting and a low priority setting, and it actually means the opposite in this example. All the high priority setting means is that if two products are found in separate campaigns, assign the bid for this campaign if it's marked as a high priority. And so by using the campaign priorities and by using negative keywords, we were able to have our generic and low quality terms appear in campaign one that had the lower bid and the terms that had the Apple and the beats and those quality phrases in it, we were able to kick it to campaign two, which has the higher bid. And so you can strategize and you can use this shopping tiers to your advantage. And it doesn't just have to be based off of brand names. You can get extremely creative with it um, in an effort to start assigning different bids to different quality search terms in standard shopping. I hope that was helpful for you. If you wouldn't mind, could you do me a favor? Could you like this video and subscribe to my channel to give me a little momentum in YouTube's algorithm? Thank you so much. Take care.